Hey guys, you're with me Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review the Scuba Pro Mantis 1 dive computer. We're going to unbox it and we're going to check out the features to see what's going on. So first off, we see it comes in a really, really great box, um, nice color photo on the outside, but you know, we're going to be diving with the thing, we're not going to be hanging onto the box. So let's slide it out and see what's happening. So if I slide this guy out over here, first thing we see when I open up the box, it reveals the awesome dive computer. So we move this guy out the way. We can take the computer itself out. At the bottom over here, we see that it's got uh, a read first instruction manual. So let's uh, open that up and see what's inside. First off, I see we get a, there's a scratch protector by the look of it. Yes, there's a screen protector over there which will sort out any scratches on the screen. You've got your serial number, I see, for the dive computer itself. There's a, a really cool bumper sticker, Mantis dive computer. <laughs> it's quite cool. You can stick that on your dive box or on your 4x4. It comes with the instruction manual as well as Scuba Pro's log track. This is what you could install in your computer to sync up the dive computer to log all your dives and check out the graphs and everything else. Dive computer we can see comes with a really great extension strap. So if you're doing dry suit diving or you just have a really thick wet suit on, you've got an additional extension strap over there. And here's the dive computer itself. If we open that up, cut that out. Move him out the way. Here's the Scuba Pro Mantis dive computer. I'm just going to take off the covers over there so we can see what's happening. Oh, come on. Off it goes. So uh, first off I can see it's a really well designed good dive computer. It's got a great uh, metal screen or metal casing. It's got a really good strap. I can see it's quite ergonomically designed to go around the wrist. And if I were to pop this on to my wrist you can see it could be worn as a day to day watch as, as well. So just popping it on you get an idea. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a good size. So let's uh, zoom on down to check out the functions of this unit. Now that we've got a good close-up of the computer, let's go through some of its uh, navigation functions to see where we are. First thing we see is you can see the day and date and time pretty clearly on this on this unit. So we can see it's a Wednesday the 14th of the 6th and it's a 5.41 in the afternoon. Um, so this is quite an easy thing to, to read. So to navigate and go through everything on the top left, we've got the light function over there. That'll backlight the computer. We won't be able to see it in studio because it's already quite bright in here, but underwater on deeper dives and night dives, it gives a nice glow to the computer so you can see what's happening. Then we've got our up and down selection buttons to scroll through the menu and then our select and escape. So you'll see it's quite easy to navigate as we go through. I'll just push that up button. You see it's got a counter stopwatch so you can enter that and just uh, use it as a stopwatch. We've got our altimeter and barometer that will allow you to set the dive computer for altitude. It also tells you what the air pressure is. We've got our dive planner, if I click select, enter there, this will give you an indication of what it looks like in dive mode. You can see that little number flashing there is just the planner for depth, so at nine meters, you could be there for 99 minutes on 21%. But if we just increase that and go deeper, you can see at 18 meters, 44 minutes. So the deeper you set it, it can tell you how deep and how long you can be on that dive, which is great. Uh, if I push enter one more time, that'll just give you more of the dive information itself. You know, that will tell you dive time that you want to be at and depths and everything else. So I think that's quite great. So now that we've escaped out of planner mode, there's a dive log mode. If I select that, it's all zeroed because this is a brand new computer. But uh, you'd see it would tell you what your uh, dive number is, how many hours the unit's been underwater, how many dives it's logged, and you can select into that dive to get temperature and depth and time of the, the dive. I think it's a great function. We'll just pop out of there. Then over here, you've got your set scuba mode. So this is where you can set it for diving normal air or for nitrox or for 
multi gas mode or for CCR uh, completely closed rebreather mode. If we just select enter there, you see you can set your gases, you can set it for scuba, you can set it for apnea or free dive mode, and you can set it for a stroke counter. This watch can be used to count strokes if you go swimming as well. So that's a great little added feature it's got. And then at the very end, it's got your set your algorithm. So you can select the algorithm that you want it to run for your dive. And if we go on to the next one, you've got watch set. So you could enter there and set the time and date and everything else for the watch itself. And then after that, we go straight back to time mode. So there's your review of the uh, navigation settings of the Scuba Pro computer. So there's our review of the Scuba Pro Mantis computer. I think it's a great unit, it's quite stylish, quite a robust dive computer, ergonomic design, and when you put it on the wrist, you see it fits really, really well. So you can wear it as a day-to-day -day watch as well as your dive computer. So uh, that's it from me as far as this uh, product review is concerned. If you're enjoying all of these videos that we're doing, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash scuba.co.za. And we'll keep you up to date with all of our specials and goodies and all the interesting things that we've got going on. Uh, we also away on tour quite often. So it'd be great to meet you guys out diving. So that's it from me, and I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.